Hey folks, Hunter here, local youth and young adult pastor. Here I am at Southampton, one of the sites where Love Our Town Week is going to be happening. And I'm just excited to see where it goes and how God moves during that week, how God moves not only just before us, but also through us during that week. So I'm excited, yes, but there is a reality that I quickly found out as I went to Giant the other week and I tried to buy some Danimals yogurt with Monopoly money. The cashier told me that I couldn't pay for that and that in fact wasn't a real currency. The truth is we can't pay for our Love Our Town Week with Monopoly money. We need real money and so we have a need and we have a specific number in which we have a need and we're thinking the Growth and Evangelism Fund has come up with this amount, $1,000. And luckily we've gotten some donations in some other areas to provide, but we do still need $1,000. And I believe that us, Church Naz, the Chip Fam, can provide for that. What do we need $1,000 for? Well, Hunter, that's a good question. Well, thank you for asking. We need $1,000 for um, here at this park. We're gonna be having arts and crafts and things like that. And so we need money for those types of resources to help uh, provide for families here. We also uh, are going to be spending money at laundry mats in the area where we're going to be paying for people's laundry who don't have uh, the capabilities, the resources, like a dryer or washer in their own home, and so we want to provide for them there. We need money for providing meals for first responders. We're going to be providing meals for them that week as a thank you for all that they do. All those times that they're interrupting Dale's sermon and waking you guys up from your nap, you can thank, you, thank them, the first responders, by providing for their meals. Yeah. We also need money for a car wash that we're gonna be holding at Shippensburg Area High School for the teachers. We're gonna be washing their cars and some resources there that we need. And so we need money for that as well. We're gonna be having a banger of a party on Saturday and Sunday and we need money for that. Here's a thought. If you're thinking during that week and you've looked at the sign up schedule and we're going, wow, I have no idea, I have no time, I have no space in which I can actually attend any of those events. Or maybe you're thinking, I don't have the physical capabilities. I can't get around like I used to. How the heck do I get involved in this event? I want to show people in Shippensburg that I love them. I think every, all of the money, every penny and quarter that you donate to this week, you are involved in every aspect of that ministry, of this ministry, and we thank you for that. And just think of that as you donate, as you think about donating money and what you think that really means. Well, it means that you are participating in how we ship Naz, how we as Christ followers are loving our town. But how do we, how do you uh, give money to us? That's a good question, Hunter. Well, thank you again for, you know, asking. Here's the thing. We have this handy dandy envelope in our service. And you can fill it out and on this envelope as you put specific money, make sure you circle that money and, and say, this is for Love Our Town Week or LOT Week. Um, there's also online giving where you'll be able to have access and when you go onto the, the website and you click on giving and it gives you options to click there and actually one of the options on the online giving is Love Our Town Week and so you can put, out, put in a certain amount of money for that week. If you have any questions, you can ask uh, Dale or me or Susan or Jen on how to further donate money towards that week. It's gonna be an awesome week. It really is. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see how God moves and blesses this community and how we can be a conduit of his grace. Man, it's gonna be awesome. Well guys, I hope to see you on Sunday or any other day of the week, but See that rock wall over there? Yeah, that thing's calling my name.